I can't believe it's been over two years since we started this whole kingship journey. Yeah, that's it's pretty crazy. You know, I, thinking back on it, I, I remember the first thing we really wanted kingship to be about was doing life together. Yeah. So, I mean, how have you seen doing life together change or adapt? How have we used doing life together as a church? Well, I, I think it starts with us. And uh, I remember early on at the beginning, um, it wasn't... Uh, just about uh, for for us starting a church uh, in COVID at a time. That's I know that true. your yeah. your your business got hit really hard, and so it wasn't just about all of a sudden us starting a church. It was also about making sure that we helped your business succeed, and me kind of just being around to be support. Although I, I I would full on admit I was probably more annoying than than necessarily helpful. No, no. But I, I tried to be a hand <laughs> at times. I was by myself in a warehouse, and you yeah. Just, Kept talking to me. Yeah, and uh, I think that uh, is doing life together. It is, it is, is, but it's also it's caring about more than just the one thing that we're we're working on yeah, together, right? We're caring about the health uh, of our relationship with Jesus, to the health of our families, um, to the health of us, and how we're tackling every day. And uh, I think about in the Bible how it talks about in Acts about the early church and what they were dedicated to or they were devoted to was the apostles teaching um, they were devoted to fellowship and then to the breaking of bread, bread and, together, yeah. and prayer but it's funny how we try to lump all of those things into a, a condensed hour once a week yeah. and uh, it's it's clear like even in the scriptures that that wasn't what they spent so all their time set up doing be. right yeah, yeah. And so trying to figure out how to do life together, but you only visit each other once a week, doesn't really provide what that really should mean. And Well, the one thing we noticed was that, like you're saying, like life exists outside the church walls, right? Right. Our lives continue Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right. Saturday. And, right? Yeah, and, that, and that's the big misconception is that a lot of times when we think we're looking for a church, we're thinking about we're looking for a Sunday morning service. Yeah. But what we're really yearning for or missing is is a group of people. Well, it's community. It, yeah, it's a community of, of friends yeah. and people that are going to walk through the best of times and the worst of times with you. And people are by your side during during those times, right. the good and the bad. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, how, how is that molded and changed? I think one of the big things for you and I is... Like, like we said, it's, it started with us, but now we're seeing kingship kind of doing it on its own yeah. without us. And I think that's our biggest success. It's not about how many people we have coming to a, a meeting or um, and not to say that it's important for the church to host opportunities and times right. to gather, right. yeah. but the fact that it's spontaneously happening in the people and then we're hearing the stories that's the win. That's the success yeah. that we're seeing in the church actually being God's people and uh, doing life with each other. Yeah.